D. Greenman is a popular series that was published in Weekly Shonen Jump starting from May 31st, 2004. It features the story of Alan Walker, a child who had been cursed by a demon, also known as an Akuma. After surviving this encounter, Alan was then taken on as a servant by a man named Marion Cross. Cross is an exorcist, and is responsible for showing Alan the way to salvation in not only himself, but in the Akuma as well. Alan Walker's main ambition isn't just to free humanity from the Akuma, but to free the Akuma from themselves. In order to carry on doing this, Alan joins the Black Order, a group of exorcists who work together to defeat Akuma and obtain pieces of innocence. The Black Order finds themselves racing to find pieces of innocence against a group of people called the Clan of Noah. As Alan goes through different missions given to him by the Order, a larger mystery about the Clan begins to emerge. I won't spoil what this larger mystery unfolds into, but the series takes an interesting twist on Christianity, with the themes of religion and the use of innocence being a source of power for both evil and good. D. Greyman showcases a gorgeous art style with a clearly gothic basis. Strong blacks and faded whites dominate the pages in a way that complements its setting very well. The jutting architecture and the jagged lines of the landscape are uninviting and create a sense of discomfort which befits the series. The religious lore is reflected through the adherence to gothic structures that resemble cathedrals and churches from the 12th to 16th centuries. With an engaging central mystery, a brilliant main character, and an impressive assemblage of fights, D. Grey Man is a classic to many. The series has been around for a long time, 14 years to be exact, and yet the story is not as grand and large as you may expect. With only 229 chapters behind it, despite all of this publication time, it would appear that there is a deep and complex mystery not only in the story of D. Grey Man, but behind the publication of it as well. So let's take a look at what happened to D. Grey Man. The franchise of D. Grey Man encompasses the circulation of 22.5 million copies of the manga in Japan alone, two anime adaptations, two video games, and a series of light novels. Unfortunately, the series has most definitely gone off the radar since its prime, and has fallen very much beneath its former reception, despite the fact that the story and the art are stronger than they ever have been. To give you an idea of why D. Grey Man vanished from the public eye, we need to look no further than its publication history. The author, Katsura Hoshino, ended the original run in Shonen Jump on May 11th, 2009, just under five years of weekly releasing. The series carried on later that year in Jump Square, a magazine that released monthly, from November 4th, 2009 to December 29th, 2012. After releasing monthly for just under three years, the series then had a two and a half year hiatus, whereupon it was moved to JumpSQ.Crown, a magazine which releases once every three months, on July 17th, 2015. This run ended after another two and a half years of publication, on the 19th of January 2018, due to the magazine itself coming to an end. Then, D. Grey Man started being published in JumpSQ.Rise, another magazine which, again, featured a release every three months, starting on April the 13th, 2018, which it is still being published into this very day, thank God. A new problem would come into play, however, as, upon the release of chapter 224, the manga inside this chapter amassed an entire five pages. That's right, you're actually looking at the entire chapter right now. For a magazine that releases manga that have anywhere from 45 to 50 pages, five pages is an abysmally small amount of content, especially considering that this magazine only releases every three months. Additionally, the manga seemed to have an eventual decrease in content leading up to this with chapter 221 having 40 pages, 222 having 28 pages, 223 having 20 pages, and then this decrease culminated with chapter 224 having only 5. Thankfully, chapter 225 released with 33 pages, a definite increase from the previous release, but this cycle would unfortunately repeat itself, 
with chapter 226 only containing 20, and then 227 with only 19, then 228 with only 11. And that's where we are right now, unfortunately. Although the pages may be beautiful, D. Greyman releasing with less than half the pages given for a weekly shonen raises some questions about where the series may be headed down the line. If we are only going to be given 5 to 11 pages for some chapters, when the release is only ever going to be once in every three months, then it will take an incredibly long amount of time before major developments ever get the chance to occur. And this is only ever an issue when Hoshino does come out with a chapter. It is a common occurrence for Man to miss a couple of releases within its magazine every so often. Because every release is once in three months, if Hoshino does miss out on a release, then it takes an entire half a year for fans to see a release, which is a crazy amount of time. Where you have long hiatuses with series like Berserk and Hunter x Hunter, it is made up for by numerous releases when it does return. But with D. Greyman, the series is never really in a hiatus, but it's released in such a sparse way that it feels almost like it's never in publication at all. Another reason why the series vanished from the public eye is because of the D. Grey Man anime adaptations. I know what you're thinking, aren't anime adaptations created to widen the audience of a series? More than half of the anime industry as we know it isn't original. It's an adaptation orchestrated by a committee to invest money into a series. And so why would D. Grey Man's anime have the complete opposite effect? Well, the original anime from 2006 to 2008 concluded as it had run out of content from the changing of publication from the series as stated before. The revival of the anime, D. Grey Man Hallow, which began in 2016, also came to an end because of this, but this revival was ultimately stopped from releasing its DVDs and Blu-rays altogether. Unfortunately, this result came from Hoshino herself. Hoshino used to have an Instagram account which she would communicate to her audience with, and during the original airing of the new anime adaptation, Hoshino used this social media account to state her dislike and disapproval of many of the things which the anime studio chose to do. One day, however, she discovered this specific piece of artwork from the studio and became very enraged. The piece displays two of the main characters, Alan and Kanda, posing in a very suggestive way. In all honesty, the piece is absolutely conveying these characters in a way that just wouldn't happen in the series. So I understand Hoshino's upset. However, apparently this was the final straw for Hoshino, as it led to the DVD and Blu-ray sales for Halo to cancel shortly after, with a statement saying that this was due to various circumstances. Due to this unrest from Hoshino, she later decided to delete her Instagram account altogether and has yet to return to any form of social media. To go back to the manga, you may be wondering, what caused this constant change in publication for the series? And the answer to that is unfortunately, health issues. In 2005 and 2006, Hoshino took two short breaks from D. Greyman. The first was due to norovirus, a vomiting bug, and the second break was due to a neck injury. The bigger hiatus in 2008 was supposedly from a wrist injury, this was about the time that the series moved from a weekly magazine to a monthly one, so perhaps this move was taken to relieve stress from Hoshino and whatever had happened to her wrist. If you look out there on the internet, there are tons and tons of claims towards Hoshino being a sufferer of rheumatoid arthritis. I'm not saying that they're wrong per se, but these claims are completely unsubstantiated. A chronic condition such as arthritis has never been made public by anybody, and although it would explain a lot of what happened to D. Greyman, I urge you all to take it with a massive grain of salt, and remember that this is simply speculation from followers of her manga. After deleting her Instagram account, Hoshino now has no forms of communication with her fanbase at all, and that may very well be how she wants things, considering she is a very shy individual. An interview from the early 2000s shows Hoshino's stance against showing her face on broadcast or television, even going as far to have a box on her head. With the story in D. Grey Man stuck in an uncertain cycle, and a fanbase remaining only from devotion to the series, D. Grey Man is one of the few shonens out there that won't be ending anytime soon, if at all. Because of those reasons, and because of Hoshino, we may never know. What happened to D. Grey Man?
I want to thank my very first patron, Jamal Malik Clymer, for supporting the creation of this video. So I thought I'd share his YouTube channel right here. He does berserk videos, art videos, and videos about his very own manga, Dark Blood. So please go and check him and his channel out. Be sure to subscribe for more and follow me on Twitter to see what's coming next. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.